What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell notification, put it on all, and you'll get notified as soon as any new content drops on the channel. So let's talk about it. We had um, last night, or AKA the early hours of uh, this morning for those of us in the UK, we had uh, Shakur Stevenson versus Artem Harutanyan. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Harutanyan or Harutanyan, something of that nature. Apologies if I butcher the name. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, Shakur Stevenson defending his uh, titles at lightweight versus this guy. I um, believe this was the last fight um, of Shakur Stevenson on top rank unless he's going to renew his contract. So, um, yeah, this was a fight where... It was um, pretty much routine, Shakur Stevenson. Um, <clears throat> he won, as I as I expected him to win, um, but he was a little bit more aggressive. Um, the first few rounds, I want to say the first sort of three, four rounds were a little bit competitive because you had, um, you know, Artem was, uh, this Harutanian was sort of, prodding and poking so as Sh Shakur Stevenson was um, sort of trying to make him work and popping him with the jab you'd always have Harutanyan sort of coming back with his own right hand and his own little counter shots um, not all that accurate in comparison to Stevenson but he was coming back with shots so those rounds I would say Shakur still took them uh, most of them, I think you may give um, Harutanyan about maybe one or two of the first sort of four or five rounds. Um, but th that's pretty much all you can give him if, if you're generous. Because Shakur, he was winning the fight, but he was having to think defensively at the same time. So when he's attacking Harutanyan with his big amateur experience, I think he had about 300 amateur bouts, um, Harutanyan. So he's, he's very experienced, dealt, dealt with all sorts of styles and... You could see that coming through because he was um he was always sort of on the attack trying to get um Stevenson with the counters but Stevenson was you know his instincts were brilliant um cuz as as Sarutanyan would try to attack you'd see Stevenson sort of moving his his body back leaning back away from the punches and sort of taking a sting out of him and you know a bit of that shoulder roll sort of thing so um, Stevenson was, you know, very switched on when it came to his defence and, you know, as the fight went on, um, to mid to late rounds, Shakur Stevenson began to become more dominant uh, because he he sort of chased um, Harutanian down and he was just sort of going after him. Stevenson was, you know, staying in the, in the middle of the ring. There's a lot of accusation of Stevenson that... Um, he runs and he moves about too much. But in this fight, it was like he came to sort of show people that, nah, I'm not just a runner. I'm not a guy that just runs around the ring on the back foot and and doesn't engage. You know, he, he made an effort, made a conscious effort to engage and to try and make this fight um, a bit more exciting. And, you know, the only thing he really lacked was, was the KO. He did, won it on points, but... Um, yeah, tactically, Stevenson, he, he, he got his spot on. Um, and, you know, even in the pocket while he's engaging, while he's um, exchanging, he's making sure that he's doing his damage. And then, as I said before, leaning back, leaning out of the way of Artem's punches so that the, the sting goes out. So you could tell that with, with Stevenson, um, he was aggressive, but he was always sort of conscious of his defence. So, you know, every time he, he attacks, he's like, oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. And he's, he's kind of moving back and leaning back. And he's, he's he was committed to some of the attacks, but you could tell, why, you know, even on his attacks, he was sort of waiting for that um, perfect opportunity. He was waiting for the openings. He wasn't, um, he was coming forward, but he wasn't reckless with his attacks. And I think... For me, because he was kind of looking for perfection in the way that he was attacking um, this guy, um, Harutanyan, he, I think that's what may have cost him the stoppage because I think he he kept saying in the corner, I think that to his, um, his trainer that, oh, well, I'm going to stop this guy, I'm going to stop this guy. But I think 
what was missing was that if you want a stoppage, you've got to take a bit of a gamble. So whereas he was he was still sort of def- defensively aware on the attack and and trying to you know throw and then look for the what's going to come back and then throw again sort of thing, I think he would need to have been a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more um, throw throw caution to the wind and so just start just let your hands go, let him go. And I think had he let his hands go a bit more and just stepped up a gear a little bit. I think he, he may have been able to get this guy out of there. There were a few times where you could tell he kind of hurt this Harutan young guy, but um, it, it was never enough to where it oh, he's going down right now. But I think he, if he wanted that stoppage, he, he, sh- he could have just sort of stepped it up and that little bit more and been a little bit more... Um, aggressive, been a little bit more ready to perhaps you know you felt this guy's power, so just you 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 just sort of go all out and just attack, just let your hands go, you know wing in shots maybe tap 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 then a hard one then a so but don't don't let up on the guy and I think the fact that he was sometimes sort of attacking and then allowing Harutunyan to sort of come back and 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 try and attack it and then he counters I think that counter punching and that that sort of thing kind of took away from his um opportunity there to to take um Harutunian out but nonetheless he he gets the job done on points and yeah overall that's just me being a bit critical here but I think at the end of the day he he won the fight and the main objective is you win your fight and and um you move on you fight someone else now um so yeah, good overall, good performance by Shakur Stevenson. Um, I think personally, he could have got the stoppage or got the knockout just by putting, you know, stepping up that gear and just putting more punches together rather than the more sort of defensive work. But anyway, he, you know, he's the one in there taking the punches. So yeah, congrats to Shakur Stevenson on his victory. What happens next? We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I'd I'd love to see him in there against um, a Javante Davis, someone of that of that ilk, um, because I feel, I think it'd be an exceptional fight. Um, a lot of people looking at that performance are going to say, well, Davis is going to walk through him and stuff. And I think even the comment section of um, some of these YouTube videos with about, about the fight and showing the fight, um, that's what people are saying. Yeah, as soon as Tank touches him, he's going to go. I mean. For me personally, I, d- I don't think so. I think that's kind of a uh, maybe 60-40 fight in Javante Davis's his favour just because of the, um, you know, who he's fought and stuff. But I think it could even be 50-50 um, because um, Shakur Stevenson, he's, a, he's very, very good defensively and his instincts are very, very good. So... Um, We've we've seen yes we've seen loads of knockouts from Javante Davis, but um, we've also not seen him in there against the best guys at lightweight. So as much as people rate him and rant and rave about him, we have to keep in mind that we've not yet seen Javante Davis against the best lightweights. We never saw him against Teofimo Lopez. Vasily Lomachenko, even George Cambosos or Devin Haney. Those four guys have all been uh, at the top of the tree at lightweight for for certain times, you know, and they all sort of fought each other. But Javante T- Tank Davis is that missing man who didn't fight any of them. Um, he, he fought Ryan Garcia, who, well, yeah, he's a good fighter, but Ryan Garcia, never a world champion. So, yes, we rate the victory, but he, there were four other guys that at various times were the man at lightweight um, and he was that missing man not saying that he wouldn't have won he, maybe he would have won maybe he would have beaten all four of them guys but the point is we haven't yet seen it so if if he does fight Stevenson I wouldn't be so quick to write Stevenson off I think it's you know I would maybe slightly edge uh, Javante Tank Davis but um, you know, not by much. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on Shakur Stevenson's performance in the comment section below. And until next time, it's MKL Pugilism over and out.